Um, they sing to attract mates. I'd rather hear birds, actually, but that's one of their behavior similarities. They make nests. Both crocodiles and birds make nests. Both crocodiles and birds uh, defend the young. Uh, this is not typical of reptiles in general. Crocodiles are very bird-like in a number of their behaviors. Now, what's the best explanation? That these many similar, and there's other anatomical, and there's other similarities between birds and crocodiles too, but let's just talk about behaviors. Is it more reasonable that these, this suite of behavioral characteristics, quite a few behavioral characteristics, developed independently of one another? Or is it more likely that perhaps birds and um, birds through dinosaurs and crocodiles shared a common ancestor at some point? And that the behavioral similarities that we see in birds might have been inherited from a common ancestor? Uh, most evolutionary biologists believe that crocodiles are actually more closely related to birds than they are to other reptiles, which is kind of cool. The crocodile notwithstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ray Comfort. Um, so, <laughs> That's the best crocodile, as, I, as far as I'm concerned. That really is a magnificent job of Photoshop. But the common ancestor of crocodiles and ducks did not look like that, okay? Everybody understands that. Well, so evolution is considered pretty important by scientists, although this enthusiasm is not shared by the public as a whole. Uh, the percentage of scientists who accept evolution is, is astronomically higher than that of the general public. In terms of physicians, this is also true. Uh, this first, um, the printing is sort of small here, but this first blue square, God created humans exactly as they appear. Only 18% um, of physicians in this 2005 poll answered that. 42% of physicians answered yes to God initiated and guided an evolutionary process. And 36% of physicians agreed that humans evolved naturally with no supernatural intervention. In other words, 80% of the physicians polled in this survey, which, and this was a major uh, physician's organization, uh, accept evolution. So scientists uh, tend to be rather at, um, at odds with the general American public. This is also true of the American public as a whole and international comparisons. In this article uh, published in August of 2006 in Science Magazine, uh, Miller, Scott, and Okamoto, asked this question, humans evolve from earlier forms of animals, true or false? The blue is true, the yellow is don't know, and the red is false. Before you go blind trying to find the United States, we beat Turkey! <laughs> so, what is it about evolution that um, gets people's knickers in a bunch? Um, one thing is that there is a very strong movement to try to present evolution as uh, inadequate or false science. And this is the movement, of course, promoted by a number of different organizations and strains of what has come to be called creationism. 